So first and foremost, I wanted to kind of go over like a new game and what the class is and all. Uh, so depending on what uh, system you're using, uh, for me, I'm using PlayStation, so I hit the triangle. It shows the starting stats, and then it'll show some of the equipment that these classes will be having. Now, I want to make it clear that just because, you know, say, the Vagabond has 15 Vigor, 14 Strength, doesn't mean that you can't be a Magic Wielder later on. You gain so, uh, runes, and that will let you buy into new levels to put points into whatever different category you want. So, just because you start out with high stats in one thing doesn't mean that you can't be, you know, say, the Astrologer here. Doesn't mean you can't be wielding big-ass swords like the Vagabond over here or the Warrior. So, more or less, the really the only big differences between these classes, other than the starting stats, is the weapons, the gear that you'll start with. Now, what you see these characters looking like right now is the actual armor that they'll be coming equipped with and then it also shows like the swords and shields and all that that kind of do drop thing on the end there is something that starts on all the classes that's something that's used if you want to just uh end your life and go back to the last side of grace that you're on but you also drop all the runes that you had so it's kind of like a death warp uh, that being said, I also want to go over the fact that the Astrologer does have a couple spells that it starts with, as does the Prophet, and the Prisoner and Confessor also start with a couple spells as well. The Wretch is unique in that it starts at level 1, so it doesn't have all these extra bonus stats, but everything starts at 10. So that is a good class if you want like a, a starting difficulty a little harder than normal. Uh, but it's also really easy to customize that into exactly what you want instead of having to start with like, you know, your profit here. It's got 14 mine, but you're not going to use any MP for anything. And instead you wanted to use swords or something. You'll be able to spec yourself into exactly what you want. Guys, if you're brand new to a game like, you know, Elden Ring or Dark Souls or any of that in general, you don't want to start with the wretch. Uh, that's going to be the hardest starting difficulty for you, especially if you don't know any of the mechanics. If you want to kind of turtle, I would go with the Vagabond, or I would go with the Confessor. Both have very decent gear. The Confessor does have a little spell that they can heal, whereas the Vagabond over here is just, you know, your kind of standard knight. The Warrior and Hero are kind of more of the attack-based uh damage dealers to start off your bandit has access to a bow and arrow along with the bandit's knife which inflicts bleed damage it's kind of a hidden stat that builds up on enemies the more you attack with that it'll start building up and then it'll do massive damage once you hit the right amount the astrologer does have a little small sword that it can start with as well uh, but its primary attack when it's starting off is just the two spells that it has the Prophet is kind of the same as the Astrologer, only it goes off of faith-based uh, spells and skills, and it starts with the Spear. The Samurai is also a really good starting class because it has the Uchikatana there, which also does bleed damage. It has a decent shield for parrying. It does have a bow and a couple sets of arrows. It has normal arrows and fire arrows. I would suggest saving those fire arrows when you first start out. The Prisoner is a class that I haven't tried out, but it does have that little sword there that is good for poking and stabbing, and then it does also have magic skills as well. Now the Confessor is kind of like the Church's Paladin type deal that is going around, you know, can do some damage, but it also has the holy healing abilities. And then as the Wretch you know, you start out with a club and no clothes. That's it. So, I would suggest if you're brand new, going with like the Vagabond. Astrologer, if you want to stay away from people. Or the Samurai. Those are good starting solid classes. 
make a brand new character here. I'm going to choose a confessor to start out with. And we're going to go over the keepsakes. Now, the Crimson Ambin medallion, if you've played other Souls games, is like the rings. Medallions are the rings now. And this just increases your max HP, which is alright to start off with. Land Between Rune is just an item that you can use that gives you some runes, which is the currency you use to buy items and level up. Not that great. The Golden Seed is something that reinforces your Sacred Flask, which gives you an extra charge once you get the Sacred Flask. That's actually a really good item. The Fang Dimp Ashes can be a decent starting gift, but you have to do a little main story quest involvement before you can actually use it. I haven't personally gotten that, but it can be pretty useful, I'd imagine. Cracked Pot. So if you're somebody that uses like firebombs, you have to have a certain item called Cracked Pots to do crafting. This lets you start with one right off the bat, or three of them, I'm sorry. Not the greatest starting gift either, but I can see its uses. Stone Sword Key. This is for areas that are blocked off and there'll be like a gargoyle statue that is in front of it. You have to use these keys to open that up. Usually those areas have some nice items hidden behind them that otherwise you couldn't get. This isn't a bad one to get starting off either. The Witching Branch, I honestly have no idea what this does. Boiled Prawn, this does exactly what it says, boosts physical damage negation. And Shibiri's Woe. So this attracts enemies' aggression. So this is uh, useful when you're doing multiplayer online with other people. And you kind of want the enemy's attention focused on you and not other people so that they can whittle away at it. This is for like people that want to be a tank. My opinion, the Golden Seed is probably the best starting gift you can get. Other than that, you can change what your character looks like with uh, detailed appearance and all that in here. Uh, but after that, just hit finish and you start the game.